So, you know, I, I've been a supporter of Sam Allardyce. You know, he, he's had a fantastic managerial career off the back of a long playing career. Um, but I don't think for one minute Sam Allardyce even considered during that 90 minutes, right, how can we really expose Liverpool Football Club? I think he was just totally focused on we're not going to concede a goal. Um, and for me, that isn't the right attitude to where's, have. Where's the, the, the line between being sensible in a football mm. match as a manager and being perhaps a bit too cavalier? I mean, yeah. he, he must have seen how they played against Manchester City. He must have seen how they've played throughout the entire season mm. in the league. And you look at their league positions, respectively, and Liverpool are much higher. Yeah. Where is the line drawn, a manager's perspective of which you are? Well, it, it's almost down to instinct. You know, you have, to, you have to find that line yourself. And I would suggest from game to game it changes. But I'm looking at a Merseyside derby off the back of Liverpool having played with huge energy in a huge game But having a big squad. Pardon? But having a big enough well, squad they, to make five changes. Yes, they do have a big squad, but they... They, they, they weren't as good a quality side with their starting 11 as they had against Man City. They've got another game against Man City in the Champions League next week. I'm thinking it's ripe to have a real go. And I think, you know, let's be honest, how many people expected Everton to win the game? Not many. Not many, no. If any. I mean, we simply you, had an opportunity to get something out of this game yeah. because of the, the energy levels would be down. Yeah. So, so I think, I don't know. I... I think if I was in charge, and of course it's easy because I wasn't, so I'm not going to get blamed for anything, but if I was in charge, I'd be saying this is a real opportunity. Let's have a go at it. And do you know, if we do get beaten, we're going to get beaten by having a real go and we're actually going to give our fans, our Everton fans, a little bit to cheer about today. I think Sam has missed out on a huge opportunity today to do that because the fans have, are asking the questions, is he the guy yeah. to remain in charge for next season? He's done a job this season. He's, he's kept yeah. them in the Premier League. Mm. This was a huge opportunity to go out and see. You know what it is? I'm going to throw caution to the wind. I'm going to show the fans that we can attack and go and do something. And he stuck to his, his philosophy. Yeah. That's what he's about. Do that. you think he, maybe he was a little bit burnt from last weekend? Because I think he well, under he, a lot of criticism against Manchester City. Surely Sam would have had an idea that they're going to make changes and they're not going to play. Salah wasn't playing for me. Mm. No, you're going to wrap your best players. The, he would have known that. And when he sees the, the, the team, team sheet... Oh, I know you've worked on things during the week, but have a go for your fans. Get them on your side for next season. He's really, in the last two chances, I think that's why he was frustrated. Yeah. And he was annoyed because that could have won a lot of supporters on to take him into next season. Just out of interest, if it had been, say, a Brighton, with all due respect to your former team, they are much lower down in the table, or Huddersfield, etc., would you be criticising them in the same way for not going at it in the similar scenario? I know it's not a derby, though, but... What, so if Brighton or Huddersfield had gone, what? To... Um, if they, if what you're saying about Everton, they should yeah. have taken it to Liverpool because they would have had low energy levels yeah. and rotated their squad. Yeah. Would you say the well, same thing? Okay, if... I, I would suggest that that if Liverpool were playing today against Huddersfield at Huddersfield or against Brighton oh, any, at Brighton, any team for in example, the, in the half. I think both Huddersfield and Brighton would have had more of a, a go at Liverpool than Everton did, and you know, and it proved the point for me when Everton actually threw caution to the wind a little bit later on in the game, you know, they, they caused some problems. Oh, yeah. They arguably should have it, won the game. It was almost like the players took it upon themselves to put numbers forward and, get, yeah. and, and actually try and make something happen late on the game. And the fans lifted. You heard, yeah. you heard everybody get behind them and it was a wave after wave towards the end. Could have started a little bit earlier. All right, uh, gents, just going to hit the pause button here because <laughs> we're going to go back to the stadium. I believe we've got the uh, two goalkeepers standing by for their post-match reacts.